welcome back everybody uh nice to have you back with us before we take a look at the match now between kales river and villages let's quickly take a look at the logs in uh super league a uh currently sitting at the top of the log is uh, hamilton's unbeaten unimol sitting at number two on the log they've played 10 games and they've got uh, a couple of games to play but sitting at number two on the log followed by stellenbosch tigerberg villages and of course durbel those are your team, your, your, your matches that are in contention, at least your clubs, they're in contention for the top six. In fact, still going lower than that, there are a lot of clubs in contention for the top six. Um, is that where it's at now, um, Any? If we look at those teams that are just out of the top six, False Bay, Helderberg, Brackenfell, even UCT is still coming. Is it more a question now? I mean, if you look at those games, they've got four games to go for the teams that have played nine games. Unimol have played one more. They've played 10. Durbel's got a game in hand. So this does still put False Bay, Heldenberg, and Brackenfeld to some degree in contention. Not so sure about Brackenfeld in contention, but <laughs> but uh, False Bay and Heldenberg can still squeeze in there. Yeah, definitely they can. I mean, it's, you know, False Bay can definitely make it there. Heldenberg can still obviously make it in there. I mean, there's some... You've got UCT coming back after a long time off. Um, that still has a lot of rugby to play when they come back. Yeah. Um, then, yeah, you take you get key losses on top. You know, you, your top six take some key losses. And, you know, from seven to, to nine, you can say take some good wins. They can still be in contention for that six. Yeah. Points. Rob, let's talk to, me, talk to me a little bit about the bottom of the log. Kales River at the moment sitting at 13. SK Warmer, CPUT. NTK will be, will be happy that they're in, in, a, in a position that they have got a bit of a buffer. A little bit of a buffer, and considering, as you said earlier, on the last eight years, these guys have been in the promotion relegation space constantly. But I think that's where they'll be thinking now, is, is just keep the momentum going. Well, that, that, that's obviously tough. I mean, there's, let's say, five, five games left over for most of the clubs. But you have SK and CPT, it's currently right at the bottom, but they've only played six games. Yeah, yeah. They're not halfway into their, in, in, into their uh, tournament. So, so they probably still have a chance. A, a guy, a, a club like Coles River, MTK, even St. George's, they, they cannot go sit back and say, look, we're safe. Yeah. We, we're going into the part of the season where a penalty kick, a win, has to be enough. Yeah. But a bonus point is the one that just keeps you creeping up on that on that ladder. Um, if you look at that middle part, there's there's 16 points between the guys currently lying 12 and the guy lying third. It's only 16 points. Yeah. Yet you got you've only got five games left. But like any said, any of that top six guys they take an unexpected knock. Uh, someone opens the door for someone else. All right. Well, we are looking at the bottom of the log there. Um, but let's go. Kells River Villagers first off.
All right, there we go. Kales River Villagers. Uh, final result then. Villagers 41, win 13 over Kales River. Henny, uh, your thoughts on this one? That's what Villagers... Yeah. I, can, I mean, you said it before. They, you, the game opened up. Yeah, definitely. I think, yeah, well, as Rob said earlier, uh, Kales River's got the forwards. They definitely got the forwards. But I think when it comes to depth and with firepower at the backs, I think mm. Villagers got the edge there. And I think I just split open up wide. So, yeah, well, I suppose, you, I mean, you also talk, you were talking a lot about uh, the spirit of players, the spirit of clubs and, and so on. Villagers will be happy with, with how things are going there. If the results are going in their direction, it does help with the motivation. If we look at where Villagers were five years ago, seven years ago, they, they must be in a very positive space now. No, definitely. I mean, they've got the players, so the club is on, ongoing. I mean, being the yeah. second oldest club in the country, it's good to see the club performing well. Are they the, um, the second oldest I club, uh, second Rob? Oldest. Yeah, Definitely, yeah, one, year, sure? one year under yeah. us, yeah. You know, there's a bit of a debate about that between... <laughs> 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 you can ask Dave Kagan, yeah, I guarantee you it'll come down to Amis being the oldest. <laughs> well, don't worry, I've got the full archive of Hamilton's uh, on file. All the old photographs going back, way, way, way back, where there's only one field and a little uh, a bucket for people to sit on. Yeah. All right, folks, we're still going to look at the match between NTK and Hamilton's. We'll take a look at the first half and the second half, but when we come back from the break, we'll give you some of the other results from the leagues and make sure that you stay tuned. We're also going to take a look at some of the barometers, which is, of course, exciting every week. We'll see you after the break. Don't go away.